Alrighty. Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Uh... We're just on the main menu because I just didn't know where to start from, so... Let's go here. Load. There we go, please load, thank you. <laughs> oh. Boy, my locks in the You know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No. I don't know any Malakine. Not anymore. Any more? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? Oh my and god. He stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Ah, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? <laughs> so this is how escaped prisoners behave. <laughs> Velvet is just so done with this shit. Ooh, treasure chest. What's this? Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. You're an idiot. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? <laughs> so I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me. You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement. Your words cut deeper than these northern winds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. I love it. That was, that was amazing, and that's just funny. Hey, energy orb. I don't know what these do yet. Oh, check something. Money, just sitting in between rocks. I'm assuming this is like quick save or whatever. I don't know. Let's keep going. Yeah, that's the point. She's not a she's not human. Not anymore. Oh. Deck. Yeah, I know. Okay, actually, I wanted to check something. Uh, no, not this. It was equipment. How close on that? Uh, 29 out of 33. Mastered. That's the only shirt I have. Sturdy belt. These are the same things. So, like, one more thing there. Void ring. Let's switch back to this one for now. I actually want... I want to master that, because that's apparently very useful. Focus, that's almost done. Sweep up, that's almost done. Then this, if we do like four more, and then we can start working on that. Okay. Oh. Globy orb thing. Money. Flamestone ship. Oh, I just need to get there from the other end. Uh... Okay, well, let, you know, let's do an attack here, just to... Close the uh oh bird oh, oh what's that what's that? Uh, okay. Here I come. <laughs> 
Oh, that worked. Sturdy belt mastered. Nice. Okay. Uh, do I have a different belt? No, I just have the sturdy belts. Okay. Battle boots. Five more on that. Uh, four more on that. How do you? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how you upgrade those. I think it's just doing battles, doing certain things. No. Oh. Oh my god, ugh. Going. I want to go grab that treasure chest I saw. Uh, so nice to be free again. Able to move these bones around like I want. So, Rokuro, what got you all chained up in that mold hole? Ties to home. It's complicated. Oh, -ho -ho! then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. Pay what you owe. Well, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. That's why I know so little about the state of the world. Oh, gosh, me too. Art-wielding Malakim. I've never seen such a thing. How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this will do to business? Should I even ask why you were in <laughs> For unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale of betrayal most wicked and foul. <laughs> Velvet is Here regretting her life choices. You'll cry. I'll laugh. Emotions will touch the rafters. No, thank you. Velvet is regretting her life choices right now. <laughs> I'm just looking at that and just like, oh, Velvet's regretting her choices. Uh. <laughs> okay. There's item. Me item. I want item. Life bottle. Nice. Can I get over that pit? No. I'm assuming you need like a certain character to jump that stuff. Pain 20 Geld. Okay, uh, that should be fine. Oh. Oh, these guys have no resistances or anything, okay. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Come on, really? Uh, initially, each battle will. Each soul projects 30 maximum SG, so having more souls. Trying to let enemies take your souls through suns. May find skills that will increase both initial and maximum amount of souls. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Uh, how close is my equipment here? Like two more, three, four. I don't know what the upgrade requirements are for this. Is it fights? Is it just something specific? Oh no, I'm in so much trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out now? Oh look, another weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? <laughs> Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? 
Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. <laughs> that works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? They look like this. <laughs> That's just like what I found at Titania. Perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes hmm. we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Really? Then how about kitty clumps? <laughs> anyway, one night we were having a feast so meowvelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That, That's why what? I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emeousipate my friends. Emeousipate? Really? <laughs> it means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats boxes like these here. Meow. Here you'd say apesipate. Oh my god. This one would be edoxipate. And finally... Whew. I'm free, meow. See? Emeousipate. By that logic... Shouldn't it be e cats a pate? Wow, you're oh my god. <laughs> kind of look for real. I guess I totally underestimated you. Please, our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them. Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor lost brothers and sisters, meow. Oh, the cat puns hurt. Why should I? Please think of the cats. You Velvet know, gives genuinely zero dams. Have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our debt. We'll make it worth your while, I promise. And if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. <laughs> that has been known to happen. You. <laughs> if we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. Well, it's just like, I'm just not dealing with this shit. These assistants are in the world, like souls cats, and collect them simply by touching them. Need these open cats' boxes, okay. Opened, opening it up for the chat. To cat it's. Bad joke is bad. Don't want to have to curse you. You know how to get under a person's skin, don't you? Okay, wait, what was that, uh... Oh, wait, was that... <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's, that's, that's hilarious. I find that hilarious. I don't know why, it's just funny to me. There's nothing special about it, it's just funny. Alright, forward. There we go. Yeah, look, it's a bunch of exorcists. exorcists. Well, that's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I... I... apologize... about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. The compass. Huh. You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Hmm. Is he your dessert? If necessary. If necessary. It doesn't bother even denying it, just like, possibly. You must have gone this way. Like, at least she's uh, frank about it. It's like, yes. Possibly. Eighteen of those things. Oh, save point. There's nice. a ladder. Okay, let's save. Uh, let's just make a new save just in case.
storage house? Warehouse? A storehouse? <laughs> that smell. Flamestone. Flamestone? Also known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives! Mix it with oil and you get fuel. Oh my Sounds God. dangerous. If it's true. <laughs> Believe me or not, it's your call. <laughs> I like Medjalou, she's hilarious. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse. We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons, too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still, still wearing one. one. <laughs> nope, not an option. <laughs> I just know how fucking done Velvet is. She's like, why did I choose? Why did I come with these people? I, I genuinely, th this is my favorite part of all this, is just how done Velvet is with these two. Just like, uh, would it be worth just killing them? <laughs> Actually, wait, I just want to check something. Items. Yeah, I picked all these up. Uh, I don't know, I'll leave them for now. If I get in trouble, I'll open them, but for the moment, I'm just going to leave them as they are. Drop our coin. What's this? Fire ring. Uh, I think I still need to upgrade my ring, though. I think I still need to finish with my ring. Yeah. Ring skill attack plus five. Uh, art defense. I, I still want to just get that. That'll be just worth it, so. Huh. Meek for large craft sales south into Logris and Minyant. That's why I say Sabres are tourists is there. See with my own eyes, but it's too far for me to travel. Weak my ship, huh? So does that mean swimming is right out? And Velvet gets into her revenge state. Got it. Hmm. This full dangerous stuff, no one can enter with permission. We'll just walk away. Got it all, at least the cargo's all aboard as planned. But the Abbey's really clamped down with their inspections ever since the disaster. It's a hassle, but inspections are in everyone's interest. The Abbey's rule keeps things fair and equal. Peddler. Beasts in the seas beyond here. Pirates that prey on shipping vessels like packed hyenas. I'll give away much longer, especially cage with their name on it. A special cage for pirates. And yes, I'm looking around at everything first. Keep up for coin. Life bottle. Oh, soul. Uh, these souls are not rare. Let's not walk up that way. When I grow up, I'm gonna be an exorcist. Me too! I wanna protect my mommy and daddy! Hold up. Exorcists are warriors who protect the whole world from you can't just protect your parents. You've gotta protect everyone. That sounds really hard. <laughs> it is. And it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah! Exorcists are the best! <laughs> They're treated like heroes. I suppose to normal people, they are. Hmm. Radio trees can move a pair of child malachim simultaneously, which can for double the deadly arts. I remember myself one. It's, it's only really fat book, too, huh? Uh, I guess we just go through that door. So I guess we just go through here. Hmm. Maybe we're moving to hell, hell of us. Uh, interesting. Stone chip. More orbs. Okay. Largest number of exorcists in the north, led by Teresa Linares, Praetor of Praetors. A couple hundred demons in front of her and she wouldn't even flinch. Compared to three years ago, it sounds like I dream how peaceful things are now. Exorcists were warning demons off. Huh. I think taking care of... Is anyone going to help me? 
local streaming girl handles everything shortly. Just keep heading down this road. Thanks. <laughs> well, at least she can be polite. Let's save over this. Listen to Anne around lately. I think her mother, Medissa, said she came down with measles. Oof. Dedicate the Imperial and offer your prayers for clear vision. Hmm. Demons kill my grandpa. Grandma was little. Mom says my aunt and uncle cousin just got eaten by demons. Sad anymore. Just kill the demons in my family. Talk about a thirst for revenge. <laughs> Velvet, you are the last one who has the right to talk. This is because they're more in Greater Malachi. Also, difference, you can tell them hard as it finds. Abby runs the world, so it's best to know at least a little about their organization. There's a group of sailors. Is that the guild? Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys, poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? <laughs> it's true. We kill our livelihoods. We do we can't clean heavy orders. That's why. What the hell is going on? Is this a shipping? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. We need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? Uh. Hmm. Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? Hmm. No, my lady. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. Hmm. And you, girl, aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgan was so cold. That's a young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. Wow, Velvet's very much capable of bullshitting her way through this. My, my. So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you, he's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. <laughs> Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. <laughs> this man is rational. While you wait, find us a good navigator. Demon lizard. With current cold snap, you should kill him easily while he hibernates. He's not human anymore. Just a monster must be shown no mercy. Dune's madness don't say I didn't warn you. Fair enough. Resonance divine gives an appearing that gives his ability to tether Malachim. Order the sound on the front lines. Creators are spears, but they also have civil and economic duties and lead religious services. Not a position for the faint hearted. Oof. What's this? For drinks for grown ups and fuel for the soul. Every place makes them in their own way, but drink them when you're drunk. That's the rule. Pick up. 
So that my system is really safe. Wouldn't complain if it were a bit warmer though. Singing Malak is commenting at cat or a dog. I opened when they first started appearing a few years ago. I think they come from, they seem to be alive and answer if you call them. No mystery, eh? Special with people with special malak forged weapons that work with demons. I don't say much chance of it. Sir, I'll glad to do what I can to keep everyone else safe. Interesting. Found a re the blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I could scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? <laughs> we'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My pellet has standards. <laughs> <laughs> I have standards, you crazy bitch. <laughs> I like that. That was funny. Just, I have standards. <laughs> food. Uh, I don't know if these are actually... I don't know if those are actually just only sell items or, or not. I don't know. I could sell the second sturdy belt, probably. Eh, I'll leave it all as that for right now. Four different. Oh, it's because it has like four different abilities. Okay. Eh. Almost done on that. Ooh, I could use a different. Armor. Oh, uh, hang on. There. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, I'll deal with that in a few minutes. Uh, this, I believe, yeah, we already have that. Uh, amber garment. I should buy one of these just to get a better one. Uh, these are both the same thing. Uh, Amber Blade, Amber Belt. Yeah, because, uh, actually I don't have an extra belt, so this might be a good idea to grab. Uh, buy that just in case. I have enough rings, I don't need to worry about that. Um, let's grab this, the extra pair of boots, uh, Okay, that's that's fine for now. Let's uh, reset our equipment. Battle boots aren't done yet, but oh, he already ha he has a set of these. Oops, that was a mistake on my part. Whatever. Whatever, it'll still be worth using. Sturdy belt I have mastered, so switch over to that belt. Uh, that, that I have mastered, so let's switch to. This down slight armor, but it's up everything else, so that's fine. Ring is not done yet. Is there any others I can do? No, just this one. Okay. Oh, equipment. Let's check out Rokuro. Not much help. Okay, I actually kind of see this, because I want to see. <laughs> that does not work right with his hair. Oh, that's... Oh, that side of his face is very creepy. Okay, wait, let's see what all these, uh, these conversation bits are. Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon Blight? In Hell of Bees? What do we do? No need to worry. 
Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? I mean, I don't think you're there's anything wrong on that. Not right, but not wrong either. Look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail Relax, hair. Cat. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Relax, kitty. So let me just... I forgot to mute my phone. There we go. Let's do that. What do you want? Like, if we go further than college, it's like you're wasting your time. Interesting. Beardsley and Hellevis are villages in the frozen west. I want you to know our place is good hearted folks should be visiting. Good hearted? Velvet? Yeah, no, not anymore. Uh, what do you guys have to say? He turned demon and he came from that village. We can't be letting strangers into town. A village wonderful folk don't listen won't listen to the Abbey? Anyone could have seen that coming. Jeez. This world be biased. Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You wanna form an alliance with my gamma area to bring down the betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your alpha forces and my gamma forces work together, beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance, alpha area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hellevi's Grand Snowball Fight. Let us toast to our victory. This isn't a snowball fight. It's a snowball war. <laughs> I was the one who engineered their alliance. Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full oh my God. <laughs> to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. That's <laughs> fair in snow and war. <laughs> oh, it must be fine lunch. All right. <laughs> I'm a curry village today. Real? Wow, I should have a good place. Oh, luck. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is great. That's great. Ooh, this cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country. But still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that... What do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day! I'm pretty sure you need to do that originally. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him! Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. Huh. <laughs> Cold again, you just talk about how cold it is. I like this one. That's funny. Okay, let's just, uh... Let's just overwrite that. Oh! In Interesting. I see that, and I want to know how to get up there. Oh. How do you... Hmm... Uh, oh, well, there's a chest back here. Uh, we might not be able to get up top yet. That might be a later thing to get up to the top area. I can see multiple chests. I can see a few orbs up there. 
Wait, let's check in here. Uh, is there like a way up to the roof or something? Oh, hey look, there's Magelo. You don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helaviz. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow, mm. she must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the frozen queen of the exorcists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the white knight Helaviz needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the face. Oh my god. Oh, oh okay, this is getting creepy. Like that, with those ice cold eyes. Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. That's disturbing. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, uh, oh, orb. Like him. There's nothing up here. That sucks. Whatever. Or rules, curses, sunrise, exit. <laughs> a life worth. What a drink, really, a life worth living. <laughs> Terrible things. You tell the enemy about them. Our of society. Really? <laughs> What's in here? Is there a way to see? Oh! Save point. That's nice. Oh, I want you. Uh, sure, I guess. I don't know what this does. That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. <laughs> okay, what, uh, what is it? This dude is it just a heel, basically. Got. Oh, it's outfit for Rokuro. Just takes off the jacket for some reason. Okay. Interesting. What do you have to say? Always cold there, eh? Get over the cell, fancy little soup. I mean, just sell each other out, right? Huh. Four dollars that you dropped to the floor. Thanks. I'll take it. Damn, it's after a bit. You just need to be talked to normally. Guys, like, why does this be so hard? <laughs> Or, uh, I'm oh, is this how we get up to, like, the roof? Shipping guilds under the wing of the Abbey. They turn the city in Great Tring of the North. Helvies has been most shamefully rich these past few years. I'm just mere as a guild taking more than their fair share. I am just, I'm just a small-time trader, so it could be just be jealousy talking. Is this how we got to the roof? No. Copper coin. Silver coin. Nothing. Okay. Well, I guess we come back here later to get up there or something. Uh, or, wait. Oh! 15 cat spirits, let's open it. Square glasses. Interesting. Oh, herb. Okay, uh... Not much else I can do here. Oh, oh, wait, is this... This can get me over here. Let's see what's over here. Plant. I'm spending so much time just exploring. I play... This is this is how I play RPGs. Okay, aha, uh -huh. there we go. We can get up here and get to use things at least. 
At least get a few things here. Coin. Orbs. Way down. Uh, which I'll do this after. I just want to see. Uh, oh. Oh, there's also one over here. Okay. What's this? Gold. Blood blade. Ooh. Is that the same one we? Is that the same one I have? Equipment. Yes, it's. Well, I might as well switch out just for a better one because it gives me that the maximum HP plus thirty. It's might as well. Uh, now I want to go down to this thing because I want to get that treasure chest. I want to get that chest we saw. I saw before. Or we saw before. You guys were also there. I'm pretty sure you noticed it. I can't get that from the other side, but. Uh, over here. And down. Silver. Amber garm. Oh. Well, I wasted money. Good to know. Oopsies. Uh, good to know. I can probably just not buy equipment and I'll be fine because I can just find it everywhere so long as you prowl enough. As long as you dig enough, eh? What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Huh. Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. With pirates and bandits in ever increasing numbers. Of course, On the bright it's side, middle, with a higher it's demand for flamestone, like, Helloviz is world. prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds hmm. like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Excuse me. Let me for another day. Wow, this. Is she? It is designed Carex. In the volume room of cargo. Bring the world's goods to Helloviz. Huh. Alright, well, uh. Should we drop a coin? Oh! Soul there. There we go. I feel like some of these just spawn in later. Oh. Hello, cat. In case anyone's wondering, no, I can't just lock my cat out of the room. Wow, there's just a lot of orbs here now for some reason. It's the okay. I feel like these orbs just respawn. They have to at this point, right? Like, let's go up here just in case there's anything this way. Plant. Do demons in the cold? What? Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. <laughs> hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that at least. If you say so. <laughs> Interesting. So there are like different levels of 
changed. I wish there was a jump button. Well, might as well practice with the uh, new guy. Oh, they're all weak to fire. Cool. Okay, there we go. Boom. Your style is really unique. <laughs> Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. HP can be restored using Aptels and healing arts. I have a revenue KO character required life bottles, which results in resurrection. At the end of battle, any KO characters will be automatically revived with 1 HP. Number of souls affects various things. The more damage enemies will deal. The more souls the character has, the more damage enemies will deal. The greater chance enemies will inflict status effects. Lower the chances of inflicting status effects on enemies. Souls may appear after a successful quick step or when a character is KO'd. You can collect these to increase your soul count. LTRT and the main battle menu will change the active character. During battle, you can press LB, left or right, to change characters immediately. Okay. Well, that's the case. Let's try a Rokuro. Boom, okay. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. Oh, Blood Billy's Master, nice. Broker's battle abilities. Martial arts, slap uh, movement, seal based elemental attacks. Use Broker's multiple hit elemental arts and his broad such an elemental hidden arts is the key to making most of his abilities. He has no non elemental hidden arts, which makes it Marshall's best bits. Okay. Let's, um. Arts. Rokuro. Crimson Flat. Fireburst. Oh, this is. I see, it's like this default. Uh, Crimson Flash, Mowing Blade, Concealed Blade, Mirage. Let's do two things of Fireburst and two of the Bone Breakers, I think. Uh. uh there. Okay. What's this? Oh. Break soul. Laughing Raven and Phalanx Raid. Oh, that's against dragons, and this is against birds. Okay. So I'll leave it at semi-auto, yeah. This makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Max that out. Okay, let's switch to the amber blade here. Because I now have the HP recovery thing, period. Uh... I have the extra amber. Ooh, that. Let's get the extra attack stat on that one. Resistance ring is almost done. Battle boots is also almost done, and I can move up to a set of amber boots after that. Uh, this guy, how close? You're nowhere close to being leveled on any of these. Okay. I don't feel like fighting at the moment. I want to get this treasure chest. Give me the treasure chest. There we go. Also, I just realized, uh, oh, I just noticed how low health velvet is. Um, oopsies. 
Uh, apple gel. Good enough. Probably heal by killing a single enemy. Okay, you want to die so much? Whoa, that worked. Boom. Well then, let's move on. Titles earned. Bloody boot. Max out the ring. And this game, Amber Talisman. Okay, let's again check this. Uh, resistance ring is done. Uh, let's uh, let's go back to the void ring. Battle boots are not done yet, but what is this? Bloody boot. Practice kicks. Oh, uh, I guess you've seen martial arts. Uh, power of, multiplies martial arts damage. Increase power of arts based on their star level by 1.2 times, but hidden arts damage by. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to reduce my, my hidden arts. Uh, I'll take the decrease cost. Uh, what are my what are my arts levels, anyways? Hmm. Throwing Thorn, Swallow Dance, Harsh Bubble, Rising Moon. And then these ones are gouging spin into those other two. Okay. Grab this. Look, there's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. <laughs> it's a princessia. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. Oh. Oh, flashback. That's interesting. I see. Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. What's this? Ooh, this is more malevolent than the actual memory. The time is nice, Elika. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. <sighs> is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no. I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know. I just figured that, well, <laughs> she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh, you also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, you. You're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> It's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up, Princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. Oof. I really hope it does. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what Princessia signify? Betrayal. Oh? I think he's aware that that's not what they actually signify, but he's just like, huh? Uh, let's just go the proper way. I don't feel like... Oh, that is the... That is the proper way. Okay, so we need to go through there to get up there. Okay. We need to go through there to get up there. Can I get up this hill? What? No, no, no. I don't want to fight here. Leave me alone. Single orb. Oh, an herb, chamomile, focus increases the village. As, Let's as go she regen. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Bird, bird, leave me alone! There we go.
Oh dear. Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist? Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Hmm. Are you crying? It's just... Everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands. And yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once. And the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Yeah. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helaviz. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. <laughs> mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? Uh, I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, no, okay. I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? <laughs> Got it. That's a promise. Thanks, Cat. A oh. cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> huh. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Oof. Huh? That's eerie. We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. Cat. Please get off my desk. Remember the lizard demon cave. We can promise that was on top, okay? We want get. Go to Halibis. We can't tell anyone if there's a little persecute us. Ooh. That's one fine yak you've got there. What an adorable face. You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh-huh. I think that points me <laughs> at home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. <laughs> you know the future, okay? <laughs> Put that. The village is still sulfur tank of the cave up north. Now trade routes lead to Halavis instead, so we don't have much industry anymore. All we can really do is make charcoal and raise yaks. Money. That was that was funny though. It's just like uh, you might not want to. Twin charm. That woman said she was patrolling huh? for the abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're hand-picked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Hmm. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Well, eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? 
I will bash you over the head. <laughs> Rokuro, you're aware of who you're talking to, right? Open. Found the cats. And I got nothing for it. Those orders make no sense. Yeah, I sold them as a nice sick kid. But apparently wouldn't really crime worth banishment. Oof. Eleanor is a bit of an odd exorcist. We're supposed to, we're supposed to the Abbey here, and yet she comes and asks all these super serious questions. She doesn't seem like a bad person, but she won't let alone she doesn't smarten up. <laughs> that dial is a wretch of a son, though. Ran right off to make a fortune trader trading, or do you end up a murderer? Still, this poor old man is convinced it's just a matter of time before he comes back. Forget it. I've given up on him. This village, we built it with our own sweat. I won't give it to the Abbey no matter what they say. Huh. Uh, let's... Let's sell my extra one here. Uh, sell the extra sturdy bell. These can stick with him for right now. This is still what we work on. Uh, sell the extra amber garment. That garment can be held on to. Rings. I have all these. I'll keep the I'll keep the boots how they are. Honestly, Good for the best. To the shop. Thank you. I'm not gonna buy anything because I still have weapons to basically fill up. This village seems much more run down than Hell of These was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. <laughs> so, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh yeah, that exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There mm. aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Huh. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. Stranger, but I want you to badly because of it. That make me no better than the Abbey. It says something, doesn't it? Tar mining operations are hollow buddy mind. Worked on for eight years. Well, Lady like Teresa nix that good, so it's unnecessary and that was that. It was the Abbey to be butting in on free man's affairs, it's a disgrace. I know it's frustrating, but it's better to be quiet. You know they are about order and all. <laughs> Wait. My granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Cooking has been added to the menu. Eating dishes. Cooking menu after the option. I'll quickly choose a dish and cook automatically after battle. Cook and eat lets you immediately cook and eat in a single dish. Skill is to check the screen. Skills you've used for. Cook and eat. You can immediately cook a dish and activate its effects. On the left is the list of recipes you've learned. On the right is the information about each recipe. Next, choose a character who will cook it and the cooking skill you want them to use. Each character has different cooking skills. For now, it's like Velvet's stun minus 10%. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Dish is complete. You'll never be able to. will not benefit from the effects. The character you choose to keep cooking XP. Once a character earns enough cooking XP, their cooking level will go up, which grant them additional cooking skills. Each level's on the top. Each. The effects only last for one battle, it means you won't benefit from just any subsequent. Auto cook allows you to have your entire body on a cooking dish every battle. However, please don't use cylinder fire ingredients. We work the same way as cooking dish normally. I'll explain the field, lower right of the screen will display the range times you can auto cook your selected dish. Missing ingredients, and then the thing, no dish will be made. You'll need to find ingredients, which is not a dish. Uh, 
Let's put the blackout on the... Uh, is there supposed to be a cutscene loading? Oh, now that hit the spot. There we go. Oopsies. Hey, Velvet. Can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want. But just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. <laughs> so, about that whole apple thing. You can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Other demons. Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm sorry. Forget it. <laughs> this is just what I am now. Please, as long you're in as there I with have me. a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. No hollow. Kevin's wetlands. I don't know what business out there, but there's no place for you to say, I tell you. I'm gonna stop you, but no one's coming to rescue you if you don't come back. Oh, yeah. The guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? <laughs> a little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's <laughs> one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. <laughs> That's just the kind of demon I am. <laughs> uh, let's save over this. Uh, items. Let's go grab these. I see them here. 19 gald. Can't do anything with that yet. Plant. Uh, actually, we should. Now that we have a second party member, let's. Uh, where is. Uh, increases map movement speed. Um, I'm assuming I can't do anything with those yet. Sorcerer's Ring. Draws up Velvet's Break Soul ability. Okay, that's all outfits. Uh, this is that one. Where is it? Um, oh, wait, it'd be under here, right? Consumables, yeah. Sage, raise maximum HP. Uh, lower. She has lower HP. Attack by two. Uh, I'll upgrade that. Rubana. Um, art attack by two. I'll give one to each of them. Art defense. For right now, I'm basically just gonna focus by two. SG regeneration and artifact rate. Also, plus resistance Uh, Let's give it to you. Okay. Okay, now let's save again just to. Um, basically not have to re redo those. Adlo Hollow, Cavern in the Northern Marsh. Let's do some running around. What? Oh, and go back. Weakness is wind. Uh... There we go. Dealt with. Let's move on. Okay, the boots are done. Uh. Do I actually even have a different set of boots? Yes, I do. Set of amber boots. Focus plus five. It's not the most useful thing, but it'll work. Cause yeah, that's all. So like that's fine. Cool. Okay, let's see what's done this way, cause it doesn't seem to connect to anything. So seems like where items would be. Itchy. 
No, yeah, treasure chest. Or fragment. Bunch of apple gel. Nice, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, uh, what's up? What's up the center? Either a very big enemy or item. Silver coin. Uh, what's that smell? Oil? Yes. That is going to be relevant later. I almost know it. Okay, let's just do some killing. Okay, so each of those are actually unique for like the, the actual enemy itself. Interesting. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Okay. Let's keep going then. Uh, this is the first like actual dungeony area we've come across. Uh, that's a squid. Okay, I'm confused, but I'm going to just walk away. Just accept it. 500, 500 gold, okay. Or 500 gals, whatever. Uh, oh. I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. Destroy crack boulder by pressing A. String boulder will open your pass, and destroy boulder will not reappear. So point destroy them when you have them. <laughs> we literally just kick it and it shatters. Okay, that's entertaining. Oh. Oh, well, at least, you know, at least it's marked on the map, so if I ever come back here, I can. Yeah, I can fill it out if I ever come back here. Uh, ew, let's kill the squid thing. Whoa, okay. There we go. Come on, really? Oh, let's get this. Interesting test. Uh, well, let's go up this way. Please don't tell me we're going straight into the boss fight. No, it's, uh, oh, okay. Coin. More orbs. More fragments. Uh... So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. It's a major pattern if you're blocked and they're actually foot you can use cross out by pressing A. However, they may not always be foot older distance or to be too great to leap across. There we go. Flamestone chip. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, a bunch of souls. Oh, we're on our way out. I can at least grab that cat box. Uh, uh, apparently they're not allowed to leave the room. Uh, okay. Grab these. Oh. On to battle. I'll stop you. 
There we go. There we go. Death. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Go that way, or mm, let's go the easier way first, just to see. Because I don't know which way is which to get to, like where we need to go. So. This does not seem to have been the correct uh, the correct direction, but that alone makes it worth it. Oh, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of souls. Nice. Shadow daggers, better weapon for him once he masters his previous ones. Which how close are they? I have to see. Seven. Uh, I might need to switch. I might need to switch, uh, switch over to him and get do some grinding to get his equipment stuff. Mm, I think I'll do that in the next, uh, next non-boss fight we get into. So I'm, going to, I'm actually going to assume it's based on killing enemies. They probably explained it, but I just don't remember. Simply call it a bit. You know what they say. Falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I don't think that's quite how the saying goes. <laughs> Blink boulders. There's nothing to use the foothold troopers gap, but maybe boulder nearby which you can roll a place to create your own way forward. If you see a boulder, looks like you can be rolled, press A to inspect it, you may be able to find a Don't fall and crack your skull. I feel like even cracking your skull wouldn't do much to the demon. Like Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. Don't get up on top of Hold up. See this? Hold up. Hold on. Hold up. 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 Hold Oh my god, ugh. Very weak to hidden arts, okay. Ow, stop it. Stop it. There we go. Well then, let's move on. Okay, did that do? Mm, okay, I'm assuming. Okay, you know what? Let's stop being stupid. Help. Herbs, caspers, potentiates. On various systems obtained by defeating powerful foes. So the potassium it will okay. Uh, okay, master skills. Based on the grade earned from battle. Oh, okay. So whether or not he's the one fighting is irrelevant. Got it. This might be a bad idea, but let's fight this guy. Are we ready for this? Eight, eight, eight. Ten. Oh, okay, no, we're not ready for this. We are not ready for this. We're not ready for that. Got it. We are not buff enough. Oh no, I think I ran out of food. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. You're a fine swordsman. <laughs> not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. <laughs> a war demon. 
Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort huh. of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Huh. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is... Hag. Am I right? What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. Rockero, <laughs> that was the greatest way to shorten your expected lifespan. Each their own plane. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. What about you, huh? <laughs> What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. <laughs> it's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. <laughs> I enjoy these conversations. Kitty, relax, please. Oh, I know what's happening. She hears something. Sorry, she's running around like a little crazy thing right now. Plant. Why there's a plant growing in a cave, I have no idea, but we'll just take that and go. Or... There's the pit of tar. See, I don't, I don't understand where it is. It's probably when, once we get another, like, uh, another party member. All the way through the cave? Almost. Okay, I see where we're supposed to go now. Jump, 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 jump. There's a lot of spirits in here. Like, there's a lot of the, the cat spirits in here. Which will make life, which will make uh, opening a lot of them easier. Oh, oh. Tarnish silver coins. These, I'm pretty sure these tarnished coins are just money. Oh, you can actually move on those. Oh. You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste. Hmm. You said you Therians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process, <laughs> all through the whole. The rich, this guy's an alcoholic. Dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. And what would a child know of such things? Whatever. The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that you're a demon, huh? <laughs> now that you're a creature with more than human abilities, you get drunk even faster. I'm very confused as to how this works. You'd think you'd now have a, an easier time not getting drunk. Boom. Uh, awesome. Victory is ours. Great, 1.35. I okay. I feel like there should be a save point here. If there is, and a giant green wind circle, I don't know what that is. Let's go look over here. Break this. Cat souls. Of ore, probably. Yes, get soul. Money. 
I mean, what I care about most most from this place is the castles. Those are gonna be useful. 62 of them, dang. Once you actually start needing them, they get them to you like candy. What is this? War points. You can use war points on the map. You unlock them by touching them, after which you'll be able to freely travel to other war points you unlocked in the same map. All right, uh, let's just look. Where are these? Oh, we can go to the near entrance. Okay, that's not bad. It's a way so you don't have to run all the way back through the dungeon. To the boss fight, presumably. Oh, hey, look. It's a church person. An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in. Battle Storyl. Hitting all of her plus weak points during a combo will activate a weak point combo, greatly increasing your damage to the next hit. Demon Dial is weak against demi humans, fire, and earth. So go with harsh puddle into searing edge to tearing thorn combo, watching a weak point combo. Searing edge to tearing thorn followed by harsh puddle. Searing edge. Tearing thorn, harsh rebuttal. Let's just do that. There we go. We found our murderer. More fools from Hella Bees came hunting me down, did you? It seems that way. I mean, he was very nice, okay. Interesting. Uh, there's really no, uh... There's really no strategies this early, this early in the game other than hit them properly. Okay, wait, let's, let me just check what my arts are like here. Searing Edge, Snaring Throne, Harsh Spell, Searing Edge, okay. Good. Relax, cat, okay? Actually, what? I have Harsh Spell just set to stage 3, period, okay. Yeah, I'm just mashing basically. Ow, okay. Okay. And he's dead. There we go. I won't die yet. Not until I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me. They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. Well, at least he'd miss that, right? He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. <laughs> how do you mean to get this revenge of yours? 
The raid on Helipes. I'll kill the lot of them. This I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. <laughs> Dude, no longer among thieves. You should have accepted, expected this. That's all I wanted. But I guess even that's not gonna work out. <laughs> we'll take this back to town and tell them you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. Hmm. <laughs> that was funny, though. But it, it, that's a fair reaction. You just get your fucking tail chopped off. It's like, what the fuck? Ow! <laughs> Inside a dungeon, instantly sends an entrance as long as you pass there before. Oh, that's not bad. Cool. Got Dial's tail. <laughs> Poor Dial. This guy's tail chopped right off. That couldn't have been fun. Screams were kind of funny though. What do you want to say? By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. Now I'll become a human again, so I might as well look like a monster. I'll make them pay for my tail, you'll see. Um. Uh. Where the one? Okay. He has clearly lost his mind in every conceivable sense. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy. Hmm. Here's the entrance. Okay, I just want to go get the... I just want to go get the cat's... Cat's container so we never have to come back here, basically. Oh! What? Why is there just nothing here? Did I kill everything, maybe? Did I, like kill everything so they're despawned or is it because I finished okay I guess they just didn't spawn back in because I didn't leave maybe I'm not sure might just be because I didn't leave the, the place so they didn't spawn in eh, I don't know what about cat spirits not cats rose to rose corsage do they just give you fashion items square glasses Huh. <laughs> Alright. And then you can also walk for some reason. I don't know why you would need to walk. Or why you would want to. Uh, oh. <laughs> Too used to playing other games as auto run. I would just let go of the thing. Out we go, back into the main village area. Here's where we need to go. Uh, let's just save that over that. Uh, plant has not regrown yet. Let's get this item. Oh, crack boulder. Uh, but I want to go up there because I saw the giant slide of. Uh, I saw like the slide with souls on it, so like, that'll, be, that'll be worth getting. There we go. And yeah, okay, so the, the souls respawn, so they are not a finite resource. Good to know. Back into the town. Yeah, okay, so these are not finite at all. You can just go around collecting them. I feel like getting all the cat souls is probably like a post-game thing. I know I don't need to keep saving, but that's my personal 
paranoia when it comes to RPGs is that I'll like I'll die and I'll have to go back like two hours if I don't save. Sleep. Oh. Hey. Green exclamation point. We're lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helleves, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's <laughs> actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Kilaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flame stone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm. Mount Kilaraus. That's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. I don't feel like dying. Not the roof is a pain, no matter what color it is. I tell you, you don't see too much. It's not too much. Hang up the roof is fine, but take care of the fall once you're up there. This is Dial's tail. We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. <laughs> Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach, and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. <laughs> hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. We're still this is right. right now. What are you talking about? You don't know? We <laughs> didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason then. Come on, let's go. New mechanic. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on. Hmm. Novice Smith's Ace Right, you can now enhance and dismantle equipment in shops. Enhancing. Materials. Just enhancing enhanced blood blade for free. Damage against some bones. Lost one. Uh, of the race. Novice, let's get to place three. Dismantle. Yeah, I suppose this isn't really, isn't really needed anymore. Huh. And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Ah, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. <laughs> right? If you plan to continue. Oh, it might have given us that for the event for the, give you the edge you need. Of course. Those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, I still have my blood blade there. Um... I'm probably not going to go back to it because I just want the master skill off these most of the time. So I'm probably going to leave things unupgraded for the moment. For the moment. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave it. Un I'll leave stuff un unenhanced for the moment. Return to the grinder ship. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to see. All right, then run all the way back to the shore.
feel like we're probably gonna have to fight the Praetor Woman before we leave. Just a hunch, but I feel like we're probably gonna have to fight her. Considering how plentiful these are, I'm not gonna go out of my way to grab every single one. If I see them, I'll grab them, but if we're like... Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can, but we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Let's just save here again, because again, this is just, I feel like we're heading right towards a boss fight. I feel like we're heading towards a boss fight, so let's just be careful here. Let's just run around here. Let's just here. Uh, oh, or you can slide down this way. That's cool. Go back out here. that. Let's go up and over this way. See if now that we've done that tutorial if we can get to the other side of that uh, gap. Probably not, but... We probably can't jump to the other side of this gap, but we can at least look. Nope, too big gap. Got it. Either that or we have not unlocked the jump skill yet. Wouldn't surprise me if it was either one of those. Getting all the orbs. Hey Velvet, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just huh. a case-by-case case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. <laughs> Velvet seriously is trying to hold on to her I am an evil psychotic bitch act. Again, this is just. <laughs> this feels like there's a boss fight upcoming. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Hmm. O oh, Imperian Inominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. Oh, hey, look, is it? Is it guy? Frail flesh, a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar, what brings you here? You, your face. What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. Hmm. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. <laughs> it was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. <laughs> Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. 
To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. <laughs> well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. Hmm. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit. I merely boarded without permission. There's no real difference. You. You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mogilu. Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. Oh, Muggy Lou, you're a total jerk. <laughs> this is again one of those things where it's like, uh, I, this we're coming up on a boss fight with Teresa. Just that I think everyone can agree on that. We're definitely coming up on a boss fight with Teresa. Uh, don't feel like fighting all of you. Leave me alone. What's this? Comfort. Oh, God. Bird. No, leave me alone. Oh. Souls. I have a feeling it's going to be once we step foot in the front bit there. I have a feeling it's when, once we step through here, we get into a fight. That's my guess. Huh? That's strange. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. Hmm. A witch. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. <laughs> He's like, are you insane? We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. <laughs> Zero shit's given. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Mogilu. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mogilu. You're gonna die. <laughs> Alright, let's go meet Dial. You really go all out, don't you? Huh. What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Mogilu. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Mogilu, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. Maintain place. All right. One last good sharpening, and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. Jeez. 
I guess Artorias taught her so much that it's just like everything is just a reminder of that. Just like, oh, I'm going to kill somebody. Partner up with Dial. All right, let's go into here. Let's go run into Dial. Oh, hey, lizard. What are you? Things didn't work out. <laughs> I'm a demon. Comes with the territory. <laughs> you got me there. Ah, oh, gods. I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon. But are you sure? It's suicide, you know. Maybe not. I have a plan. The exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city. Hmm. Then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse. No. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. <laughs> Well, Velvet? at least Velvet's willing to risk her own life for her Velvet? axe. Uh, Luffy? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? Oh. I was... Oh, Luffy, it was terrible. Well, this is gonna be... Hey, come on, bad. let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Luffy said! No! Hmm. This is just a nightmare, then. Listen to me! Artorias is! He's going to! <laughs> Are you all right? You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. Ugh. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? <laughs> you are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. We're ready. Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. Uh, uh, I have enough of these. Why doesn't it let me do that? I guess it's only work unless I guess it only works if you haven't finished the dungeon or something, or it might just be specifically this. Oh, it, it probably... Oh, I see, because it kicks you out of the dungeon using that, and you can't exactly... That would probably just, like, mess up some sort of, uh, trigger or something. Sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment any time. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. Boom. Okay, we have five minutes left to the stream. I don't think I want to do a full-blown assault with that. Uh, I don't know what this is. Cooking, do I have anything I can actually cook? You sure you want me for this? Okay, there we go. Oh, it's because I never actually set that up. Uh, makes more sense. Fashion. <laughs> I still find this funny. Uh, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to start this now with only five minutes left in the stream. That just feels like it'd be a bad idea. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. 
That means we might run into him during our attack. Hmm. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. D you are aware that you're a demon, so you technically suit your palate, right? Rokuro. <laughs> uh, arts... Items... Uh, do we have any of the... Consumables? Uh, Sage... Increase attack, uh, increases focus, let's again do that. Okay. You know what? Yeah, no. There's, there's like, this is definitely going into a big, big setup moment, and that's not something that five minutes will let us do. So we'll just go into here and check out this shop a little bit. Just send to sell off all these coins and maybe do a bit of upgrading of my weapons that'll be fine chipped copper coin or sell all these uh might as well oh, I think that's all they're good for uh enhance what does this require Damage against stun foes, 10%. Oh, that's just always the start thing there, I guess. Eh. There we go, let's just do that. And since you're using it for right now. Uh, Amber Belt, I can't do anything with. All these require Amber, all these require Amber. Hmm. Battle boots, except I have these already, so it doesn't help me. Consumables, light bottles, how many do I have? Five. I have five owned, okay. Hmm. For garment I already have equipped, that is already equipped. Iron ring, resistance ring, shoes. Ooh, uh. Let's just buy 10 of the, each of these. Basically, exclusively, just so we don't have to worry about food stuff. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use these last few minutes to just set up for next thing. Uh, I'm just gonna reset this to, uh,. All my searing edges. Arch rebuttal. Arts list. Phalanx rate against dragons. Blue inferno is against demi humans. Zero impact vest is against armored. Amorphous. Curious. Oh, you just have these two, period. Okay. Interesting. The cooking, I have that set. Well, actually, wait, we should probably just make one right away. Food's ready. It's nothing special. There we go. Okay. Library, synopsis, help, enemy book, equipment book, player records, what? Total time, full play time, four hours, total time in menus. 20, almost half an hour in menus. That, that sounds like me. I spend more time fucking around in the settings option than, uh... I spend more time in the settings options than I do playing the game. That sounds about right to me. Yeah. Uh, do I have anything other than bloody boot? No. No? Okay. I want to know what's here. It's probably going to be like an on-the-go enhancement option. I don't know why Ace Right. Oh, okay, so it's Ace Right. It's. It's all these. Ability for equipment, trigger random skill. Okay. 
Mm. I'll, re I'll read some of these things later. All right, well, anyways. Ugh. Let's just go, just go back and make sure I saved. Uh, let's just go back out there and save. But I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do that off. I'll do that off stream. Um, or I'll just do that now. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you guys for watching. Um, no, that one. This, thank you. Anyways, that's that. So, uh, uh, there we go. All right. So thank you guys for coming, thank you guys for watching. This will be up on my YouTube, this stream will be up on my YouTube um, uh, on next Monday. Um, if you're interested in anything that's no longer on, any of my vods no longer on Twitch, it's in my YouTube channel, which is linked below my video thing. I need to just make sure I have my thing queued up next time to post it again. But anyways, thank you guys so much for, uh, thank you guys so much for coming and watching, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for something. Not sure. Anyways, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys then. Bye.